We're in a race against time, where the ticking tocks of the clock are looming close behind. Life is short and time is swift. And by the time that we realize that time is a gift, we have missed out on time's preciousness. Trying so hard to be at the right place at the right time that we barely have time to breathe. Trying so hard to make it to the big time that we miss out on all of the time in between. For time is money, and no amount of it can buy time back. For it's only a matter of time until your time runs flat. Our greatest resource is our time, but we spend all of our time trying to collect resources. And then whenever we have accumulated enough, we don't have enough time to actually enjoy them. How come whenever someone asks us for the time, we will answer them in haste? But someone asks for a moment of our time, and we say we have no time to waste. We save time, we invest time, we take time off. But all the while, time keeps ticking away on the clock. Until the sands of time have passed the line and our time is up. Whenever we realize that this borrowed time has finally run out. So how are you spending your time? Are you letting it slip through your fingers as you're scrolling through Twitter? Is the only time that your family actually together whenever you are huddled around your TV for dinner? Because if so, you probably have some things that you need to reconsider. Because time is precious, and it can be gone in an instant. And if you don't look up from all of these distractions, then you just might miss it. For there isn't enough time for you to be straddling the fences, for you will be known for your actions and not your intentions. Because time's a waste and don't be complacent. Procrastination is the thief of time. And the only thing that time doesn't do is time doesn't rewind. So Lord, I pray that the ticking talks of the clock won't be seen as reminders of our doom, but of the promise of perfection coming soon. So what are you going to do? How are you going to use this gift of time that has been graciously given to you? Because Christ didn't die for you to not bear fruit. He had nails in his wrists, a sword in his side so that you could deeply grow roots so that we could relentlessly pursue a life worth living and time worth giving. So how are you spending your time?